Hello, as part of this video, I'm going to show you how to do the DB2 redirect restore in version 11.1 .1 in three different ways. One is where you have only one storage group and you want to change the location of all data files because they belong to only one storage group. The, in the second, you have multiple storage group and you want to change the location of only one storage group. So the table spaces which are allocated with that storage group, only they will be changed. And in the third scenario, you are restoring a database to a different database. And while doing that, you are restoring the, or you are changing the location of one of the storage group because you find out that the existing table space or existing file system is not enough and you want to restore it to the different file system, but only for one database. The commands are slightly different. So let's, so the first look, first, the keyword is redirect. And then you have to do this. You have to change this using the set store group. You will be changing the path. And once you change the path, you are going to continue and roll forward. The second one is here. I use the default store group, which means all of the files or all of the table spaces which are allocated to this store group, they will be changed. In the second case, I have two storage groups. One is this and one is this. And I'm only interested in changing the path of this particular storage group. So the rest all will remain where they are only for this it will be changed and the last option is exactly same if you see this one and this one is exactly same but only thing is like I'm using this keyword so I'm restoring this database into this and while restoring I want to change the storage group for one of the particular file or one of the okay so okay uh, so for one of these uh, data file I wanted to change it to uh, the new location so let's start with it so let's see if i have any backup looks like no okay so let's start with the first example okay so let me activate the database if it is not already activated i think it might have been already activated okay there is nothing activated so let's let me activate it show you the paths where the table spaces and take a backup okay so all all of these files are on this particular path so we will be changing this location to a new location okay and so this is the only one storage group and this is the path and i wanted to do the redirect restore but while doing the redirect restore i want to change the path of this particular from this particular uh, path to a different path. So that path would be DB2 new path. Okay, so this is where I'm going to change it. So let's see if this particular file is there. It might be already there. Okay, it's already there. So no worries. Okay, and I am going to, the commands are pretty simple. So let me deactivate the database, not drop it, just deactivate it. You can drop it if you want because anyway you are going to restore it so the commands would be restore redirect restore redirect set store group okay and i'm changing to this particular path and then continue and roll forward and activate and then we'll see the paths okay so let me fire all these five commands together take copy paste it here And all that I'm doing is from this particular path, from this particular path, oh God, okay. From this particular path, third time I'm saying, I am going to change it to this path. That's my end, end goal, okay. And the commands are simple, as I said, redirect, then set to group, then continue and roll forward. And activate the database and let's see if it is okay it's activated so now what we will do is we will see the paths okay and as you can see previously the all the files were in this location after redirect restore they are moved to this location and if you see the default store group let me clear the screen The default store group is this. Previously, default store group was to this location. Now, 
it is to this location so this was a simple example again i'll show you the commands they are pretty simple redirect then set store group restore continue roll forward that's all the second scenario i have okay so let me go to the second database act by two okay not right one right one clear so redirect one i am going to connect to that and create a new store group on this location and i'm going to create a table space called data allocated to this store group and then i'm going to take a backup and what i'll be doing is only for this store group i will be moving from new path one to new path two that's what i'm going to do so let's do this together so i think this directory already exists so i'm not going to run this command and take this and show you actually i'm going to run everything together okay okay so the reason why i could not get this command working is because i deactivated the database should i have not done that so that's done and then i'm going to run these two commands together okay so as you can see i have now one table space on this path and rest all on this path my end result should be this file i don't care let them be where they are i only want to move this particular path so that's what i want to do and i have two store groups one is ibm store group which is located to this where all these three files are there and then i have this data which is assigned to this and what i want to do is i want to do, do do a redirect restore but i only want to change the path of this so let's do that so okay the commands are pretty much similar except that instead of specifying the ibm store group now i'm specifying the data store group so okay okay the commands failed because i think i did not take a backup okay right did i take a backup okay backup has been taken let me clear this and i did not deactivate this, this database and as i said my end result is rest these all should remain where they are and only this one should be changed so okay okay that seems to have been done and now i will just show you where are my so you see the the initial was all this and then you have new path one we restore the database using redirected restore method and they are where they are and only this one got changed from one new path one to new path two so this was a simple example in the second case and you see i had this two so this one remains where it is and this one got changed to new location so this was a simple example and the third example is i'm going to restore this database to this database and while restoring i'm going to change the path of this table space new path two into new path three so rest all so red one database is going to be restored as a red two so i'm going to restore this database into another database called red two but while restoring i'm going to change the path of this database to a different database so uh, sorry different location so the new part two will be changed to new part three 
so let's start with that okay and before doing that okay this database is going to be I'm not going to do anything with this so let me clear the screen and just so red one is getting restored into red two roll forward red two not red one because that's we have restored this activate red two that's done and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you where red one was and where red two so this database red one we restored into red two so just see the files red one got restored into red two all this path remained where they are this path was new part two and new part three and why would you do that is like let's say this table space is pretty big and you can't put it on the same path so you can't you when you are restoring it will it will try to go on the same path with red two as here but you you don't have that much space on this particular path so you want to restore this database into another database but while restoring you want to change the path so this is the way you do it so let me go over this again it is pretty simple to do the redirect restore you just change the store group so this is the default store group so all of the files belonging to these store groups will be changed to this then I had another store group apart from default where I had one table space on to that particular store group so which I wanted to change so you just set the store group for data they are pretty similar it's just that here I have only one store group this is where I have another store group and I want to only change for that particular store group and this is where I will be restoring the database into another database and while restoring I want to change the location of one of the table space to another. I hope this video was useful. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.